parts here in Pittsburgh are broken over the loss of Hall of Famer Mike Webster, who had in recent years suffered from mental illness and slipped into financial ruin. Why does an apparently healthy favorite son of this city die in disgrace at 50? In the true story Concussion, we see Will Smith as neuropathologist Dr. Bennett Omalu, who discovers how playing football causes serious brain damage to lots of players. When he presents his findings, the NFL fights him on every level and tries its very best to discredit him. Still, Amalu pushes ahead, making this a real David versus Goliath tale, although he does get some help from his colleague, Dr. Julian Bales. The beauty of the, the relationship with Bennett and, and Dr. Julian Bales is Bennett had the information and the science, and Dr. Julian Bales had the relationships and the connections and the know-how to uh, the, to deliver the information. So, you know, uh, Bennett was the, the information and I guess Dr. Julian Bales was the delivery system. Repetitive head trauma chokes the brain. It turns you into someone else. Tape, needles, Vicodin, Torridor, whatever it takes to keep them in the game. It's business. You get me a meeting with the commissioner. They don't want to talk to you. The NFL has known about the concussion issue for years. This isn't a biopic about a famous dead person. The people it portrays are very real and still alive. So knowing they'll be watching themselves does give the film an extra dimension. Writing and making a feature film is not making a documentary. You know, I'm not picking up a camera and filming a real person. You have an idea, you have the words, and then you have an actor. And somewhere in the collision of all those things is your character. And that character doesn't have to be a one-to-one -one correspondence with the real person if it is a real person. It has to represent what's spiritually true. It has to be truthy. It has to be true enough. And, and then you have to take that version and allow it to sort of pass through an actor so that it becomes Will Smith's version of Bennett Amalu. If Will just aped Bennett or just copied Bennett, it would be awkward and weird and frankly off-putting. They're terrified of you. You're going to war with a corporation that owns a day of the week. This is bigger than they are. They have to listen to us now. I was really drawn to the fact that this is a true story. And this is, you know, even though it takes place between, you know, 2002 and 2012, it's, it's really about now as well. It's got so many contemporary resonances about American culture, you know, about truth, about standing up for justice, what you believe in, um, and, you know, not being bullied, basically. I want the audiences to see this film and come away with a sense of courage to do good work, to stay true to your plan, and to tell the truth. And the consequences are not up to you. You know, if you do what you're meant to do on this planet, and you do it well, and you stay true to your own mission, the consequences take care of themselves. You know, Bennett Amalu is really one of the most courageous, you know, beautiful souls I've ever, I've ever come across as a storyteller. The underdog story of concussion has plenty of social relevance and can be seen in a cinema near you. You have no idea how bad this could get. I have to keep going. These men are not machines. We must honor our warriors. Do you understand the impact of what you are doing? Tell the truth. Tell the truth.